art is in the eye of the beholder. Well, a new painting in the suburbs fits that bill. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemignot looks at a work that some people love and critics call porn. It is supposed to evoke emotion. It is supposed to evoke feeling. And this has. I guess it's worked as far as the definition of art is concerned. The curator of the Arlington Heights Historical Museum is talking about this. It's called Innocence. The acrylic paint on hardboard work of art was done by Arlington Heights resident Fred Diasis. The faceless, genderless, clothing-free creation has sparked quite a bit of controversy. It's evoked very di different emotions. Some people are very touched by it. Some just don't see it. Some people have a problem with this painting, saying it depicts child or spousal abuse because of the red marks going right down the center of the person's back. The museum has received heated emails. The subject headline on this one says, Pornography, no place in our public museum. De Assis says pornography was not his intention. This is actually about uh, child abuse and uh, spousal abuse and battered women. And this issue we tend to neglect. De Assis says the painting also shows an abuse victim's journey from darkness to a place of light and hope. It's an artist's way to express himself. It's not something I would hang in my house. It is thought provoking. Yeah, I like it. De Assis says as an artist, his responsibility is to bring about an open dialogue in society, and Innocence is doing just that. Suzanne Lemigno, CBS 2 News. Innocence is part of the exhibit Arlington Artists on Display at the Arlington Heights Historical Museum. It runs through January 27th.